In origin, most analyses support recalculation. For example, if I perform a linear fit on my data, notice I can set the recalculate mode to auto. Origin will select the active data by default. But using the flyout menu, I am free to add any additional data. After the fit is complete, the report sheet will appear. This contains the results of my analysis. These results are also contained in a report table that appears on the graph. Using the mini toolbar, I can change the quantities that appear in this table, change the order in which they appear, and customize the appearance of the table itself. By clicking on the green lock icon that indicates recalculation, I can select Change Parameters, or simply use the hotkey Control F10. For example, if we want to calculate the X values based on the fitted Y values, we can make these changes to the settings of our linear fit, then go to the new worksheet that appears and enter Y values in column A, which will get the corresponding X values in column B. Then we can drag this directly into our graph and customize this plot with the mini toolbar. We can quickly add our graph window to our workbook by right-clicking here and selecting Add Graph as Sheet. Now this workbook, which contains our analysis as well as our graphic data, can be saved as an analysis template which allows us to send other files through it to receive the same analysis and visualization. So let's start a new project, and we'll open up Sensor Analysis, and we'll go back to the first sheet, click the data connector, and then connect to a different data source. Now, these data are structured similarly, but you can see here it has auto-fed the new data all the way through, including the output results from our linear fit, as well as our finding x from y to our graph. Lastly, go to the Learning Center for more examples of analysis tools. There are examples of batch processing, fitting, peak analyses, statistics, and more.